surviving hardship will happen when the one who put that hardship in your life has is close to you because you have developed a link with him. Subhanallah. So when I go through hardship difficulty, point number one, I turn to Allah and guess in what way? I start off by saying Astaghfirullah. Oh Allah, forgive me. Maybe I might just have done something bad and wrong that now I'm being tested. It's possible. It's not always the case, but it's possible. But Allah says as a gift to you, we want you to know when you seek forgiveness, when you seek forgiveness from us, we will automatically help you go through your hardship. You will survive the hardship. You might ask how? Go back to what Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam told his people. I told my people, seek forgiveness. Allah is most forgiving. As a result of that seeking of forgiveness and achievement of forgiveness, He will send rain from the heavens in the right proportion for you. And it will result in the flourishing of your economy because you sought forgiveness. When you continue sinning, you continue deserving the wrath. But Allah says, hang on, I will still give you through my mercy. But if you really want my mercy, you just need to seek forgiveness. That's all. I will give it to you. Keep on seeking forgiveness. Don't say I sought forgiveness yesterday. Why should I do it today? Seeking forgiveness from your maker is different from seeking forgiveness from a fellow human being. You seek it even if you haven't committed a sin because Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sought it up to a hundred times a day. He didn't need it, but it elevated his status every single time he asked Allah's forgiveness. How many times do we seek forgiveness? Then we want to survive the hardships that we are going through. Noah, Nuh alayhi salatu wa salam, May peace be on him. He tells his people as a result of you saying Astaghfirullah, asking Allah's forgiveness, he will send rain for you. He will improve your condition. And he will increase your wealth. We have financial hardship. How do I survive it? Number one, seek Allah's forgiveness. He will increase your wealth. He will give you more. You want more money? Turn to Allah in forgiveness, in repentance. Guess what? He owns the wealth that you are seeking. He's the owner. Ajibtu liman talabat dunya min ghairi malikiha. I am surprised by people who are requesting for the world from someone who doesn't own it. Allahu Akbar. You are asking for money from a person who doesn't really own the money. You are asking for sustenance from one who does not own the sustenance. You want cure from someone who doesn't own the cure. Go to your maker. He is the owner of your sustenance, the owner of cure, the owner of your whole life. Subhanallah. So to survive hardship, develop a link with your maker. It has to be. There's no way out. You have to. Otherwise that hardship becomes a double hardship.